Greetings, my fellow gamers. It is I, Wraith, bringing you news from beyond the mirror, from the other world. And today we are doing a little guide on Hearthstone for newbies. The reason I started a guide on Hearthstone for newbies is because, well, I started out the game kind of fresh here. I told you in another video on Hearthstone I made a little while ago, I deleted all my ledges. Well, not deleted. I destroyed all of them. Uh, because I wasn't doing very good with the mage. I felt like I was more of a warrior. So, and I was doing a lot better with the warrior, um, when I started playing as him. So yeah, I destroyed all my legends, etc. And got better new cards, and I don't have any legends anymore. So really, I'm starting completely fresh here. So, in the process, I've decided to make a little guide for newbies on what to do. First thing you want to do when you're playing Hearthstone is don't focus on legends. I know they're cool, they sound great, and they know the, le the little dragon on the side, they look cool. But the truth is, you need a majority of good cards, not just one. And a legend costs a lot of mana, so you don't want to spend all of that mana on just one card. So what we're going to do here today is talk about how to play as a newbie and what to do. As you can see, this guy obviously has a lot of legends on him. But I don't have any legends. All I have is a few epics that are good nonetheless, but they're not legends. I don't have any legends on me, although I could have just built a Cthulhu deck, but I decided not to. I decided to play it a little more newbie and just start fresh and not have any legends in my hand. What I should have did there is should have just destroyed that guy so um, my um, blood hook wouldn't have gotten killed. So, so sorry about getting distracted. I played a silly move there. I really should have just destroyed that guy uh, before. I, um, before I let him get a chance to attack on the next turn because she would have had a little more of a problem taking him down if that guy wasn't alive. But that's okay. He still played his part and he did well. And so far I'm playing this game quite well. Um, the reason I traded my hero in with the uh, enemy hero because I knew I was going to win either way. The next turn it was practically guaranteed. I had my alpha in the hand and I had the charge so all I really needed to do throw Alpha down and put the charge on him and game. But uh, what I'm trying to say is don't build um, a legend right away. You don't need to do that. As you can see, all I did here was win solely on minions, regular old minions, epics, normals, and rares. I didn't really do anything special. Uh, for this game right here, I really should have kept the Alpha. <laughs> I really should have kept him because then I just ended up drawing something even more expensive. But, um, what happened here, it wasn't any legends being any super legends or anything amazing that happened here. What happened here is I just kept doing misplays. I kept misplaying my cards, which ended up leading to my defeat. But that's okay. I learned from it, and I learned to play a little more slowly. I kept playing too fast because I was like, yeah, I'm going to win this for sure. I'll throw all this. No going to be no problem. And this draw could have been easy for me, it really could have. I just kept doing misplays. This play was okay, but I really should have saved my ghoul for later because as you can see, I have my berserker in hand and that, that ghoul could have really played a serious play uh, with my berserker. As you can see, he's playing a whole bunch of cards and all I had to do was throw down my berserker and then I could have uh, played that card right there. And uh, that would have been serious, serious right there. That would have been a serious play, but it was still a decent play, and I, I probably wouldn't have been able to use my Berserker either way because he did throw a Lava Burst out there. He did throw a Lava Burst, and that was irritating, of course. But of course, my phone was about to get, die. What's new? <laughs> but anyways, I really should have just played my Berserker a little later on anyways. I, I probably wouldn't have uh, done, done me any good to use him early. But anyways, what you want to do is try not to focus on Legends. Just don't do that, please. Um, right now, uh, what happened here is he played a card I didn't know too much about, but I'm not going to blame it too much on that, because that card didn't really play too much, um, do too much on my defeat. It really didn't play a huge part in my defeat. Really, it was just, um, him playing serious, serious cards of magic, uh, with, uh, magic buffs and everything, so, really, it was just me doing misplays it, it was this really was easy here this this battle could have been easy for me i shouldn't have played my storm wind there i really shouldn't have because although i was trying to play my storm wind to intimidate him and make him take out take out my storm wind so um so i could destroy that dragon before he could do any more damage with that because it does give him a mana boost i mean uh, a magical damage boost mana boost <laughs> 
give him give him a magic boost. So I, I I really wanted to take him out, and he used a spell on him there, which eh, he still traded six damage with his hero, and he traded six damage with mine. So he played it smart there. But luckily, I still had my alpha on me, and I drew charge, which was a lucky lucky draw, and that took down that little um, totem there, and I really was helping me out. But regardless, he could still take down my alpha quite swiftly. Um, he really had some good spells on him in there. Really, what I needed here was cheaper cost minions so I could have my board filled a little bit better. So I should have crafted some really cheaper minions or maybe just some just some smaller minions. But because I, I have a lot of big minions in here, I don't have a lot of, um, as I said, I don't have any small minions. So that was a little bit of a problem for me. I really just was having a problem with him swarming me here. He kept swarming me with some just lower cost minions and he kept using some really serious spells to keep me at bay. But what have, should have happened here is, as I said before, I should have crafted better minions. I just have two strong minions, too many strong minions, and that really played, my, played in my defeat. But that's okay. I learned from this defeat, and I just, well, that's what part of being a newbie. You learn from your mistakes, and that's what makes you better. You learn you get stronger. And that's what happened today. I lost, but I got stronger in my defeat. What I should have did here is, well, I, I never mind. There's nothing I could have done. <laughs> There's nothing. It was a guaranteed loss. I should have just gave up here. Really. But, uh, I didn't know. I really wasn't thinking. I should have just gave up here, honestly. Because I, there was no way I could have won. I don't have anything to counter this. I wish I had Rumble on me. Uh, I really wish I had Rumble or something on me, but I didn't have that. Rumble would have helped. Well, nah, nah, I wouldn't have helped. Never mind, forget it. I lost! <laughs> That's okay. As I said, you learn from your defeat. So if you lose a lot when you're a newbie, don't worry about that. It's fine. It means you learned, it means you're getting stronger. In this game, it really shows the beauty of the deck I have crafted. I crafted a solely based on Enrage and Taunt minions. Eventually, I will get Gormash in the future, that's who I'm trying to craft. I've crafted the main cards of my deck, so I've already crafted all the cards that will get me started. So, since I'm a newbie, I have all the good cards that I need. I have all the epics, I have all the rares that really start off my deck. So now I can focus on getting a legend. So I will be getting Gormash in the future to help out with this deck. To really, really make it stand out. What I have for this build, this build in my deck, is I have a deck solely built on... As I said, Enrage and taunt. A lot of my minions have an enrage and a lot of my minions have taunt. And I have a berserker in there. I really do need two of those berserkers because right now I only have one. But I'll focus on getting another berserker after I've gotten my legend. I, I really want to get that legend because he's really going to help me a lot more than just the berserker. So I'm going to focus on him right now. Uh, Gormash, I, I, I know I said I'm going to get him first, but now that I think about it, maybe I should just go ahead and get the uh, other berserker. Hmm, because that would really help me. I mean, Gormash is expensive, though. As I said before, Legends are very expensive. So maybe I should go ahead and get, get the Berserker. What do you think? Leave in a comment below if you think I should get the Berserker first, or should I get Gormash? Because I'm almost, I almost have enough for Gormash. I really am working on that. And he made the silly mistake of putting that guy in the field, even though I had my Berserker out. So what happened there is... He, that character does damage to himself when he's on the field. I should actually get that character. It would really, really help me out. And he re he really played a part in his defeat by putting that character on the field. I wouldn't have 11 attack on that Berserker if he hadn't played that guy. But really, I should have... Uh, I really wish I could have drew that Sea Reaver uh, a little earlier, a little later on. Yeah, he, put his, he took my Berserker away. I hate that card. But that's okay. This really, as I said, this this battle right here really shows the beauty of what my deck can do. I really finished this guy off with just simply playing. Now, I, it's not complete, but it will be. That was a good play.
We won two and we lost one today. Remember, every loss also counts as a win because you learned something. That's all the time I got, my fellow gamers. Take it easy for me. Bye.